Hub of Entertainment is a happening place in Kampala, both day and night. However, the more the happening has increased, the more the crime has been visibly present. Hello, welcome back to our channel. This is the Auntie Life Plan. Thank you so much for clicking the video to watch. Yes, my name is Tina. And I'm Betty. Yeah, we are so excited to be bringing for you amazing videos yeah. every week. Yeah, two, two videos, videos every week. That is really amazing. Yeah. We've improved from mm -hmm. one video a week. From one video a week. You people requested for that mm -hmm. and we are here to give you more amazing videos. And with time, and with time, we promise to give you guys if possible every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, time will come that we shall be able yeah, to give you daily, daily, yeah, daily videos yeah, yeah, that you yeah. really enjoy. Mm. So particularly today, we are here, you know we hear what you guys say, what mm -hmm. you people tell us to do. Mm -hmm. So one person one time commented one of our videos mm -hmm. when Maya was deported from Uganda and someone was like, why didn't you ask those girls you're filming with to tell you some things that you're not supposed to do in Uganda. So we are here to tell you guys what you're not supposed to do, some things you should avoid mm -hmm. in Uganda mm -hmm. that maybe some of you don't know or maybe some things that will help someone out there. Yeah, like all countries have their own rules. Rules. Yeah, they are things they, they can do, they are, they are things they're they not supposed to do. to do. Yeah, and that's why Bambi was deported and uh, we felt bad. We felt really yeah, so bad Yeah, so we just it. want you guys to, to know sad. what to do and what not to do when in our country. Yeah. yeah. So let's start with the first things. Things you should avoid, generally. It, should, it shouldn't be about security only, but mm -hmm. generally mm -hmm. things you should avoid in Uganda, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first thing, we have our things already noted down. So the first thing you should avoid to do, drinking tap water. I think this one is a simple one. Oh. Drinking tap water, you know in Uganda, we our water is not really that purified. The tap water is not purified mm -hmm. enough. There are a lot of chemicals mm -hmm. in it. So if you come to Uganda, you need to avoid tap water. You can ask for bottled water. Mm -hmm from any shop. If you come to a hotel, there's bottled water. The well-known is Renzori. Uh -huh. Which other is there? Hema. Hema. Uh -huh. And many more. And many more. So uh -huh. bottled water is advisable uh -huh. when you're in Uganda. Uh -huh. So don't not No, if water. you are to use the other water, make sure it is boiled. That or is true. There are chemicals that are put. There are those chemicals to you purify. put in. Yeah, to purify the, <laughs> the water. Yeah. So you should boil the water. If you're to boil it, then you can drink, but not straight from the tap. Mm -hmm. Yes. We don't do that. We, we don't, don't do that. <laughs> Drinking water. We is love just, our health. We love our health. <laughs> then another tip that you can do, you can avoid, is maybe the nightclubs. Mm -hmm. You know, Uganda is a country that people party a lot. Mm -hmm. And when you come here, you really want to see the nightlife. It's total Uganda. freedom. It's total, total freedom. freedom. Mm -hmm. You yes. do what you want. You want and everything. So you have to make sure that you go to a place that is much secure, mm -hmm. a place that you at least researched about. You've mm -hmm. asked maybe the people, maybe mm -hmm. your tour guide, mm -hmm. how the, the bar is safe. Mm -hmm. There are some places that are not really that safe, by mm -hmm. the way. So when you yeah. come here, when you go for a drink, mm -hmm. when it's not that we are not telling you guys not to go to the nice clubs or drink or what. No, you should come and drink and gun party with everyone. Mm -hmm. But when you go to a night club, mm -hmm. what you should avoid is mm -hmm. maybe if you buy a drink, mm -hmm. you shouldn't leave it unattended too. Mm -hmm. Because anyone can poison you. Mm -hmm. Anyone can put anything mm -hmm. to harm you. Maybe yeah. when they want to rob you. Not everyone is, of course, safe in a bar when mm -hmm. you go to. And I think this applies to all people, maybe in other countries. Mm -hmm. You can leave us a comment down below and tell us what exactly mm -hmm. happens. Is it mm -hmm. safe for you in your country to live? Well, I think it shouldn't be avoid night club. It just should be uh, avoid uh, what happened what happens yeah. there yes. because it's okay to go but there are some things that may happen yeah in yeah. those nightclubs <laughs> so, so you just days. have to be careful careful yes mm. with the person you're going with mm -hmm. you should know the person who is guiding you there mm. that will really help yes yes then the next one what is, is shisha yes shisha mm -hmm. is not allowed in Kampala by mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. in most bars restaurants and stuff where they serve shisha you should really avoid such places because if you try to sneak in shisha or maybe take shisha they will be able they will arrest you if police gets you mm. taking shisha you'll get be you'll be arrested mm. because there's even some minister who was arrested mm -hmm. you may be a diplomat 
or something, but you will get arrested because of just taking shisha. So you should be on your guard mm -hmm. and know where to take it from, mm -hmm. not in just in public places. Mm -hmm. So this is a warning to you not to take shisha in Uganda. Avoid your valuables. Avoid your valuables in hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come here, you live, you can get maybe a lodge or just a hotel room. It's advisable to get a room that has a safe. Mm. So most people come here and just leave your valuables and you regret maybe when you like your passport, mm -hmm. your your air ticket is mm -hmm. stolen mm -hmm. and you have to hustle all that. So it's advisable to have a hotel that has a safe. Mm. If it doesn't have a safe, what you can do is also maybe leave it at the reception, at mm. the front mm. desk. Mm. You can also trust them with your things so that you enjoy your trip in Uganda. Yeah, I think you just have to be careful. Yeah, that is the point at the end just of the day. Just have to be careful. The hotels that you book. Yeah, because very many things happen along the way. Yeah. Yeah, so you true. just have to be careful with your property. Yeah, then avoid swimming in lakes and rivers. Most lakes and rivers in Uganda um, have animals. Do you with life on the left? Yes. yes. Which is not true with other countries. Yeah. So yeah. when they come here, they're a bit disturbed. So much. <laughs> By the way, people get really so disturbed because of that. But yeah. driving, if you're driving, yeah. on the left side. Uh -huh. But I think you can do that. You can see other cars and uh -huh. also follow them up. But oh. that's what we do here. Yeah. Simple rules. We don't want you to be arrested. <laughs> arrested as well. Or fined. <laughs> I know. <laughs> then another thing uh -huh. we talk about. Then uh, we have our bars don't close. We don't have a time to close and time to open. Mm -hmm. Our bars are open 24 <laughs> 7. Our so are you, you decide when you want to go. When you want, want to go home. Whether you want to go home, whether you don't want to yeah, so you just decide for you. by yourself. And, and yeah, then uh, not everyone is, is friendly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, course. not, not every, you shouldn't trust everyone. Just like, like, just like in your country, you shouldn't trust everyone. Everybody. Yeah. Because, like, mm -hmm. you know, people have different intentions. Uh -huh. You may think someone mm -hmm. really is there to yeah, help you. Yet, uh, but yet, um, they're really after something. Mm -hmm. So you should be on your guard. Yeah. You know the person you're talking mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Don't trust, trust like 100%. <laughs> of course, but most people in Uganda are very hospitable. Yeah, that's the that's the good thing. The good thing us. about mm -hmm. it. So don't feel about to ask mm -hmm. anything. And everyone are willing is willing to, to help. help. Mm -hmm. But you should know where you should stop. Yeah. Yeah. And you should be, of course. Yeah. Then when you go to a specific... Uh, you know, Uganda is not so free. Like, I go to a place and I begin shooting a video no you first inquire it is yeah. always good manners to first inquire <laughs> whether it's allowed whether it's allowed or it's because allowed. trust me some places total privacy allow. yeah don't they allow. love their privacy yeah. so yeah. so you don't have to just pull up mm -hmm. your camera and stuff mm -hmm. no 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 it's not allowed it's so it's first inquire first inquire they tell they you allow. yes or no but most places they allow they allow yeah that's the good thing with it yeah yeah then another thing is that you should also avoid the street food of course street food is very good here mm. but you should see the the place it's prepared mm. from mm. be cautious far. not just <laughs> anywhere because of course people are used to that food depending on how you uh, how you've grown up from where you we know you come from. when you're yearning for this street, for this street, street food, food. You should let us be careful be careful with the food because you could get food poisoning yeah. from them mm -hmm. so you should be knowing the the how the place is, mm. whether the place is clean, mm. where it is prepared yeah, from, <laughs> if it's being prepared from where you're seeing it from, to mm. at least it's more advisable to see where you're going to eat from, mm. of course. Mm. So street food it's is really nice. good, but you should know where you get it from. Yeah, we don't want you to go back to your country with... <laughs> when you're ready when you're cursing. <laughs> when you're cursing, of course, the country. Then, drink driving. Drink driving is not allowed in Uganda. Because if you go and drink so much, you should make sure that you have at least Uber. Mm -hmm. You can get a tax, taxi, someone to, to drive, drive you later. Mm. Because most of the time we have Kaunyemi. Mm -hmm. Kaunyemi, me. <laughs> these are the police guys. <laughs> they're always on the road. They're always well, you, on the you, road. You catch me like a rat on the highway. I've been driving for over 20 everyone. years. Yeah. So, then you come you and you talk use, very big night to me. It's get someone to drive you if you are drunk. If, if you are a drunkard, please get a driver. Get a driver. 
Another thing is border borders. Let's talk about border borders. We already have a video about border borders, border border madness in Kampala. Mm. Try to avoid border borders anyhow. Mm. Try to get maybe these other protected ones mm. like the safe border, the mm. taxi fi. Mm. Those ones at least you have something to you can report, you can do you have the application yeah, in case of phone, anything, anything, at least you can you track can the report, person. Yes. You can track that the, mm. the, the, the motor rider. Mm-hmm. So it's advisable to just get a motor rider that is safe yes. enough. Yes. And uh, it's okay to also tell them when he is on a high speed, it's okay to tell them to reduce hey, I value my life. <laughs> You need to lower <laughs> the speeds. <laughs> then another thing, what are, what are we talking about? Crossing the road. Oh, oh. You know, crossing the roads here are really very, very... Yeah. How can I it's say it? Hard. There's too much traffic jam. There's yeah, too much traffic jam. Yeah. Then also crossing the can be a nightmare. The border borders are all over the place. Yeah. You may think the lights... The vehicles, the Borders. Most people don't yeah. follow the traffic lights, like the border border guys come on. So you may think people are really they've stopped the traffic, the the, the cars from moving. Mm-hmm. Yet the border borders, border borders that are already moving. So what you need to do, you need to look on your left, right, and cross, yes. but still mm-hmm. be if careful. The worst comes to the worst. You can also use the zebra crossing. Zebra? Do you know zebra crossing? People don't even. Those border borders don't even care about those zebra crossing that is. Yeah, but so when you're crossing even least, on a zebra, you should yeah, be careful. careful yeah. Check on your sides are there border borders. Mm. If there's anyone mm. speeding, just stop. Mm. They will also stop maybe. Mm. So crossing it's a little bit tricky here. Yeah. The road. Oh you can use a traffic officer <laughs> just for <laughs> traffic officers by the also help. They can help. You can tell the guy you are defeated. <laughs> That you so these are some of the things that you could avoid mm-hmm. when you're in Kampala, Uganda. Mm-hmm. So if you're coming here, be on your guard. Know what you're supposed yes. to do mm-hmm. and not supposed to do. We just want you to have, to enjoy. To enjoy your yeah, stay. Yeah, we don't want to Uganda hear you are wasted. We don't want to hear you. don't want to come back. Come back. <laughs> we want you to have a good experience of Uganda. Yeah. So guys, if you have anything to add, that we've missed out mm-hmm. and you've been to Uganda that someone could avoid, you could just, just leave it on the comment section down below. Mm-hmm. Of course, we should draw, so we would be happy to see all those comments down below. Then we also want to know the rules in your country. Some of the, the things. And the don'ts and the, eh, the do's and the don'ts. <laughs> that you could be having yeah, in your country. That we don't. Yeah, so that when we come there, <laughs> we are, are you planning to travel in this one? Yes, of course. <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> but unless you fit up with the two on the door. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, this is what we had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please just give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us. Subscribing is free. Most people really think that you pay for yeah, the subscribe, no, but no, it's really free. Subscribe if you haven't already and also share this video. For everyone coming to Kampala, Uganda, you're most welcome. This is the right enjoy video for you. this. Enjoy. Yes, enjoy and also be on your guard. Maybe you could just call us when you come around. Oh, we could we'll take, take you around. through again these rules and <laughs> <laughs> we'll maybe take you around Kampala. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>